Hey everybody, Dr. Osborne here, founder of Gluten-Free Society, and today's question of the day and research update is, can gluten cause rheumatoid arthritis? This is a big question. Look, there are a lot of people out there that have been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, and unfortunately in rheumatology, it's not common that the rheumatologist will tell you, hey, diet plays a role in the development of your disease. And so I'm here to shed the light for you today on how gluten can actually cause RA and is associated with rheumatological disease. So let's begin with study number one. In this particular study, there, what they found in this research article was a major overlap between people with celiac disease and rheumatoid arthritis. And what they found is that people with rheumatoid arthritis also had antibodies to wheat and to gluten-based proteins. Now, Another research study, it's not just one study, another study published in 2015 found that anti-gluten antibodies, that's wheat gluten antibodies, were very typical in celiac disease, but were also very frequently detected in patients who had rheumatoid arthritis and Sjogren's disease. So if, whether you've been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis or with Sjogren's, that's the, the autoimmune disease that dries out your mouth, dries out your eyes, right? If you've got that diagnosis, it's time to visit your doctor and ask them to measure for gluten antibodies. Or if you really want to get accurate, it's time to go to your doctor and ask them to run a gluten sensitivity gene test on you if you really want to know whether or not gluten is playing a role in your rheumatoid arthritis or in your Sjogren's syndrome. Now look, I've been in practice for almost 20 years. I wrote the book on pain, the solution for autoimmune pain, no grain, no pain. And it's very much about how gluten can contribute to autoimmune inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. So not only did I write the book on this topic, I've also been seeing people in my office for a couple of decades now responding extremely well to diet change. So don't take this lightly. If you've been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, if your doctor's diagnosed you with Sjogren's disease and you don't know why, you've been told to take methotrexate or some type of immune suppressing medication like steroids or other drugs like uh, immune suppressants like Embril. Look, those drugs are not a solution for you. Those drugs are not going to give you a solution, but diet very well, maybe. And so you need to ask the question to your doc. You need to ask the question and get clarity about gluten because gluten may be the cause of your rheumatological disease. It may not be a, a deficiency in the drug per se. It may just be that you need to change your diet. And for many, it is just that simple. That's what I want you to take away from this video. Look, if you want more information about gluten-free lifestyle, if you want more information about the relationship between gluten and autoimmune disease, I want you to do two things. Number one, click up top on the left-hand side of this screen. I've got another lengthy in-depth video about food causing arthritic pain. I want you to watch that video. Number two, I want you to click down on the left-hand side below on this screen and subscribe to this channel. Look, I want you to subscribe and get updates because our job and our mission is to help you understand how the power of diet change can transform your life from autoimmune illness to feeling fantastic and doing very, very well in life. This is Dr. Osborne, founder of Gluten-Free Society, the largest gluten-free community in the world. And if you'd like to join us and join our mission, come visit us also at glutenfreesociety.org. Punch your email in, sign up for our gluten-free survival guide. It's free to you. It'll come straight to your inbox. Look, we want to help you navigate this diet as easily as possible. I hope you have a great day and I wish you excellent health and we will see you in the next video.